Hello guys, good afternoon. Who's ready for ice cream? So I had been, or I have been posting different ice cream photos on my Facebook page lately and I've gotten a lot of comments on them and people questioning or messaging me saying, how on earth are you making those ice creams? They look fabulous. So I decided that you guys need to know how because it's so easy, you're, you're gonna be blown away at how easy it really is. I do have a Cuisinart ice cream maker um, super excited I got a really really good deal on it love it um, people have asked me if it matters what kind of ice cream maker you have I would say yes in my own opinion only because I've had one before with the salts in it and it you know where you put the salt in and then it spins and I just don't think that it worked as well the one that I have actually this um, I don't know if you can see here so the, the bucket that you put the the mixture in you put that you store that in the freezer and when you're ready to make your ice cream, you take that out. And then it just has a paddle that sits inside of it. So the um, I had uh, asked a post or uh, posted a question about what flavor of ice cream. And I do believe that if you can get, you know, a basic vanilla or a basic chocolate, you know, the combinations are actually endless. Um, but I did get a lot of requests for mint chip. So that's what we're going to make today. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Like I said, super easy. And then I will share the recipe um, with the video. Look for it maybe in the comments section or something like that. So the first thing that we're going to do um, is add five egg yolks. So I have everything kind of pre-measured out. So we're gonna go ahead, five egg yolks. And after we add that, we're gonna go ahead and just kinda take our hand mixer and beat them up a little bit. Um, so they're nice and creamy. sweetener um, I don't know if you can see that right here I'm using the swerve confectioners I have a couple different favorites this is probably my favorite these are ingredients um, everything in this recipe for ice cream you can get in town here um, in Medford so that's awesome you don't have to order anything online if you choose not to so I'm using swerve confectioners and um, it calls for a half a cup so I'm terrible, I'm terrible guys at following recipes. I just kind of tend to use it as a guideline and then I doctor it up from there. So when people ask for recipes, um, you know, what I did, sometimes it might not turn out because I'm terrible at writing things down. So it calls for a half a cup, um, the original recipe did, but um, yeah, just a little bit more. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix the yolk and the sweetener together again. So it's kind of like a thick and creamy, I don't know if you can see that, it's probably kind of far away. And then um, I'm going to add in um, a little bit of vanilla extract. Um, so I'm going to use like a tablespoon of vanilla and then I'm going to start with one teaspoon of, of peppermint is what I'm using and and then I always kind of add things to taste I know that's kind of frustrating for those that follow recipes exact so I apologize and then I'm gonna go ahead again and mix that in Next we're going to add, I 
already combined these two in a bowl, but it's a cup of coconut milk from the can and then a cup of heavy whipping cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. And then again, we mix. So really guys, this is it for the base of the ice cream. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I just pour it right into the ice cream maker. That's, I think I can even cover my face there. All right, so that's it. And then we put the cover on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. I have um, chocolate, it's kind of noisy. I use, um, for the chocolate chips, I guess, that I'm gonna be adding, I have the mint chocolate perfection bars. So I just chopped up four of those, and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour those in there in just a little bit. I want to wait for it to, you know, start to harden just a little bit so that they don't you know, all sink to the bottom. And then when it's um, done, I'll be back to show you our finished ice cream. Okay, so it looks like my ice cream is starting to thicken up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and add my Chocolate Perfection Mint Bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in a little, you know, nice and slow. I suppose you know more if you wanted to awesome so we're gonna let that chill the rest of the way all right guys we are back um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the ice cream maker off and so making the mint ice cream it has to turn for longer than the other flavors and it still doesn't get quite as soft but the mint extract that I used is alcohol based, so I'm sure that has something to do with it for some odd reason. So it is, it is, it is fairly soft. Definitely gonna want to um, put it in a bowl, but it really tastes yummy. Um, and and I'm just gonna set that in my bowl. to scoop. Ultimately, it still tastes absolutely fabulous. Hello. Morning, so, everybody. Morning. It's almost lunchtime. It is lunchtime. Okay, guys. So yesterday I was trying to do a video with, with the mint chip ice cream, and then I kind of commented on my post that it didn't turn off. I went for my walk, and I came back, and I was super excited to show you guys this awesome mint ice cream. It tasted really yummy. Um, so anyways, I put it in the freezer because I didn't want to waste it, and Brad stopped home. Um, stopped home at lunch, from lunch. Stopped home from lunch. Got Spencer's. Exciting thing for Spencer, for archery this year. That's pretty cool. So, oh. so I figured why not include Brad in this video. So I was gonna not post, post the video, but um, after putting the ice cream in the freezer overnight, I pulled it out and, uh, can you see that? Mint chip ice cream. Um, and we're gonna have Brad taste it and we're gonna see what he thinks it tastes like. What do you think? Tastes like a grasshopper. Hmm. Like the drink, like the dessert drink grasshopper? Yeah, it's like it's got alcohol. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm assuming he... Uh, is that a good thing? <laughs> Do you like the taste of it? Must be. All right. So um, that's kind of what 
I thought it tasted like. So if you've ever had um, the alcoholic, I guess they're grasshopper <laughs> dessert uh, drinks at restaurants, that's kind of what it tastes like, but there really isn't uh, real alcohol in it. The mint extract has, you know, it's alcohol based. That is good. But that's it. So it really did turn out. So if you do do want to make it, I think you have to plan a little extra freezer time. And I didn't find that I had to do that with any of the other flavors. This is the first flavor that I've had um, that experience with. So it did turn out. I will post the recipe in the comments. Um, yeah, so that's it. And I will try and probably make a chocolate flavor too, just so you guys can, you know, get the base for that. I like ice cream anyways. <laughs> and it's healthy. What the heck? Right? So here we go, guys. That's yummy. Thanks again. We'll talk soon.